Okay, hello. My name's Jameson Young. I'm sitting here with Jameson Young. Hello, I'm Jameson. And uh, we couldn't really find much to uh, talk about today, so we uh, decided to pick uh, some interesting fast facts type no, this story. Is not exactly. Yeah, my it was idea. actually more my idea than Jameson's. But uh, anyway, I want to talk about. Uh, so we're gonna kind of have this this uh, talk about the, these cool stories. I happen to think that this uh, girl who found this uh, sword in Sweden, she uh, she was swimming in a lake. <laughs> she found a, a Viking idea. sword. I, <laughs> I know uh, Jameson thinks it's pretty stupid, but I think it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to read the article for you, and uh, and you decide which if you think it's pretty cool. Jameson has a few Not fast mine. facts. So he didn't That's, really get I'm too much doing into this. this. He, he just kind of. Took a took it from where uh, the website I was looking up, but anyway, uh, an eight year old girl girl discovered a pre Viking era sword in in a Swedish lake. Uh, she's a Sweden American from Minnesota, Sage Venek. I probably am not pronouncing that right. The experts believe that the sword is around fifteen hundred years old. It was found outside the water. It was sticking up. She uh, stepped on it. She, this, this is what she was saying. I picked it up, I, and I was going to drop it back in the water, but it had a handle, and I saw it was uh, pointy, and the end had some rust on it. I held it up in the air and said, Dad, I found a sword. When he saw that it was bent and rusty, he came running over and took it. The reporters are now joking. They call her the Queen of Sweden, drawing parallels from the legend of the King of Arthur uh, in the story where the... Arthur was handed the sword by the Lady of the Lake. The local museum guesstimates that uh, it's around from the 5th century. It's about 85 centimeters long. And uh, afterwards, they, uh, they actually searched the lake for some more stuff. And they found a few things like a, an old, va an old uh, brooch and a coin from the same era. The dad's happy because uh, I guess he's a Minnesota Vikings fan. So, <laughs> I thought that was a pretty cool story. So, uh, let's see. Uh, why don't you tell us what you think? Okay. I'm, ju I'm just going to read off this list that you gave me. Since, like you said, I'm not really into this one too much. But anyway, in uh, May of 2016, divers discovered a 1,600-year-old shipwreck swimming uh, off the ancient Roman port of Caesarea. These rare bronze artifacts were recovered from a That's ship. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> In January 2016, 4,000 Roman coins were discovered by a farmer in a molehill. Uh, let's go. Ancient, ancient archaeologists archeologi unearthed the 2,000-year-old Roman coin in Jerusalem with the Emperor Nero's face on it. It was struck around 56 AD. That's pretty badass. Nero, Nero's pretty badass. Nero was a horrible person. Wow, yeah, timer. everybody has their faults, like, but... Horrible person. <laughs> anyway, uh, a 13-year-old boy found a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of six, uh, uh, he found one coin that led to a, a recovery of 600 coins that dated back to the 10th century. And then uh, the last one is... Ancient Roman coins were discovered off the coast of Okinawa in Okinawa, Japan. Which is, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know ancient Rome was was in Japan back in yeah, the day. Yeah, cool. It's all pretty cool. So, that's my two cents. <laughs> okay, well, I know this was pretty random, but uh, anyway, I'd like to, uh, uh, thanks for watching, but I, I'd like to leave you with some pictures because there's like, there's some whole articles on the stuff that like Jameson was saying and, and some other stuff that I was saying. And some better pictures. I know we already posted some pictures on the video, but I'd like to leave you with some some videos, and I'll quickly walk you through. But anyway, until then, thank you, and, uh, and I'll walk you through these pictures. Okay, uh, divers find an ancient Roman cargo ship, probably about 1,600 years old, off the coast of uh, Caesarea, Israel. Archaeologists in Israel have recovered a bronze statue, thousands of coins from a merchant ship that sunk around 1,600 years ago. 
The Israel Antiquity Authorities said that two divers first made the discovery. Successive dives recovered a hall, including a bronze lamp depicting the sun god Sol, a figure of moon goddess Luna, and fragments of life-size bronze cast statues, and two lumps of thousands of coins. Rare gold coins with Nero gold coin with Nero's face discovered in Jerusalem. Uh, a rare gold coin with Nero's face printed probably around 56 or 57 AD was discovered at Mount Zion in Jerusalem. The coin may have been hidden or overlooked by looters during the siege of Jerusalem around 70 AD, according to archaeologists. Roman coins found buried underneath remote castle in Japan. Archaeologists are scratching their heads after Roman emperor coins were dug up beneath an isolated Japanese castle. The treasure has been traced back to 3rd and or 4th century European kingdom. There is also no mistaking the authenticity. One of the coins bears the image of 4th century tyrant Constantine the I. A 13-year-old boy found a piece of silver that led to 16, 600 Viking coins. The silver coin was first found in, in January by two archaeologists, one of them a 13-year-old boy in Germany. The state, the state archaeology officials then became involved and recovered the rest of the treasure. It's the biggest uh, tr trove of this kind in that Baltic region. Archaeologists say about 100 pieces of silver probably date to about the 10th century. Anyway, those are the uh, articles that Jameson read. Thank you for uh, watching our YouTube channel, Self-Conflicted.